Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Let's just get started on today's tutorial on how to make a skirt. Go ahead to draw your waistline and your sideline. Please don't forget to label it. Then you go ahead to take your waist to hip line and your waist to full length. I'm so sorry guys, I lost the clip. I really messed up and I'm going to try to explain everything again. All I'm doing here, I'm just taking the measurement I've already calculated, my hips measurement, and then I took my waist measurement as well. And then for the M measurement, I took my hip measurement minus two inches and I placed it at the full length line. So my hip measurement there is nine, so I minus two from nine, which is seven. I placed seven on the M line. I went ahead to connect it with my hip curve. If you don't have a hip curve, please just use your hand and follow the curve. On the waistline, I went down by one inch and then I connected it to the center front line. And that's all I did for the front. Now we're moving to the back. Trace out your front skirt pattern onto another pattern paper. Use the tracing wheel to do the tracing because it's way easier that way. You can see the dotted lines so you can just follow through. After using the tracing wheel, I just traced out my dotted lines using a biro. Now we remember that the front and the back hips are not the same. So this is how we place the back hip. So the back hip divided by two. We will place your measurement by putting the tape rule on the side hip and bringing it towards the center front. Then you go ahead to connect from the waist to the hip and to the hemline. So that's the only difference with the normal way we used to, I used to cut skirt pattern. If it's really curved from the waist downwards, you have to you might have to add that at the back. Blue mark is the extra inches you'll be adding after taking out the dart, so it won't be too small. The amount of that you took is the amount of extra inches you'll be adding to the back. So mine isn't that curved, so I won't be using any that. Before you cut it, make sure you add your zipper allowance, 1 inch or 1.5 inch. That's where you'll be adding your zipper allowance. It's also called the center back.
the last step we need to take is to slash and spread your hip line that's where your bump is going to be sitting after slashing and spreading you're going to spread it out so 1.5 inches or one inch and you add another pattern paper to cover it up After doing that, your skirt pattern is ready. And whenever you're cutting the fabric, make sure, make sure you add your seam allowance, your hem allowance as well. You can also just add everything before cutting the pattern. Don't forget to label the back from the front. And if you're making it for a client, you should also write the client's name before packing it up. I'm always trying to improve my videos and give you the best content I can. Please let me know what you like about my content and I'll be sure to make more of it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't forget to um, send it to my email or write it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much. Stay beautiful. See you next week. Bye.